Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in this tutorial, I'll be explaining you guys as to how to do symbolic operations in Python. Now, what do you mean by symbolic operation? See, uh, let's say you are trying to find an integra try to try to find the integration of a function or a differentiation of a function. Fine. Now what do we do? We write actually we write them on a piece of paper and then we write a paper and we represent the values using symbols like x, like our alphabets. Actually, actually our alphabets are numbers. Actually, are they are actually symbols by the way, in one sense if you look at them. And if we write them on a piece of paper and then we do and then we think and we think analytically based on whatever we learned, we try we try to integrate them. We try to do the we try to solve them like that isn't it now the thing is is it possible to do that kind of symbolic of if i mean this is some i mean is it possible to do that kind of a job using programs that's a little interesting right the question the answer is yes it is possible to do that and that is what we're going to do today symbolic operations in python okay now that is actually done th this is possible with this with a module called as sympy available in python okay they are also called a symbolic python module okay uh, so if you guys do not have it but by default it will be available in conda lens installations but if you don't have it it's okay you can go to you can go to terminal and type conda install and proceed with it as uh, so proceed sim proceed with it it's not a problem and then let's have a look okay now with symbolic operations in python you can do, uh, you can do symbolic integration differentiation transformation solve functions and equations and everything okay now let's see them one by one for that what we need is the ultimate we need importantly is the sympy operation okay now uh, we need the sympy module module uh, 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 very essentially so what i do is that if i just copy this let me go to my terminal this presenter it's ready the uh, sympy module is ready now what else we can do now first of all what we need to define is that we have to tell to the uh, tell to the function I mean the symbolic sympy module and the functions that what we are going to use in the upcoming options is up upcoming option okay very clearly now this line x equals sim dot symbol x okay note the symbol the s of symbol is in capital okay what I'm saying, what what I'm trying to the compiler is that see, what the compiler is that look, uh, treat uh, in the in the in the text in the uh, subsequent lines unless otherwise mentioned, okay, uh, treat uh, x to be uh, treat x to be a symbol. I'm just saying that uh, x as I'm just mentioning to the compiler that x is a symbol. Simple as that, okay. And then in this function sim dot integrate, okay. This is going to integrate the function that we have. So if I run sim dot integrate x square plus two x plus one, which is nothing but our sim, nothing but our uh, uh, a simple uh, polynomial equation. If I integrate this, we can close our eyes and say that it's x cubed by three plus x square plus x plus a constant. Okay, leave a constant for a constant out of out of the equation. Okay, this is how it is, and this is going to give us a, give us this output. Which, if you like, guys, look at it. It's if you guys look at it, this is the actual answer. Don't believe me? Watch, well, check this out. I'll just copy this equation, go to the console, type it. Okay, x equals sims sims dot symbol x, indicating that x is a symbol in the following part. Then I'm going to integrate this function. Presenter. There you have it. Oh, not bad, huh? Well, not bad, huh? Now, th now this way I get the integration. I can do the integration of a function. Okay. Let's uh, go for some more complicated fancy method. Okay. Now this is okay. Let me do a little more of a complicated function. Okay. Now x square. Now, uh, now this is just a polynomial. What if I want to use this function like uh, uh, x square plus sine x? Okay. Now for that, I'll, okay, I'll explain what this is. Now this is actually a normal. First one is actually a normal function, uh, x square plus two x plus one. So the integral of this function, integral of this will be x cubed by three plus x square plus x plus a constant plus a constant plus a constant. Okay, 
okay now this function is actually what you're writing below is that x square plus sine x now integral of this definite uh, indefinite integral of this is actually uh, x cube by 3 plus cos x okay sorry Uh, wait, wait. Um, I think I wrote it wrong. Okay. Uh, sin. Okay, integral, right? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, no, I'm right. Okay, integral, right? So integral of cos x plus a constant. So ignore the constant. This is how it will turn out to be. This is what we should get. Let's see what happens. Now, since I defined x to be symbol already, no, no problem. But there's a catch. There is an absolutely big catch over here. Now. If I if we if we had to use just sine, it won't work, okay? Because uh, the sine function is not is defined only in ma defined only in the math module of Python, okay? So what if we use uh, np dot sine? Even that won't work because that's a function that's going to return a value. So to tell to sim simplify that uh, s the sine function that we're going to use is actually a function, but not that, but which does not return a value. It's a symbolic notation. You have to use this notation sim. Now sim dot sine is actually the representation of sine. That's what I'm going to do over here. So, so that's a big catch you have to keep in mind when you're integrate when you're using symbolic integration. Make sure that the, all the functions, inbuilt functions that you're going to use, also have the symbolic notation properly. Okay. Now with that, if I copy this, if I so integrate this, there you have it. X cubed by three minus cos x. Pretty pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat, huh? Not bad. Now let's go for more more options. Now suppose I ha let's say I have uh, a function like this. This is okay. Now let me explain this. Uh, now this is actually this function is actually sine two pi l by t. Two pi l by t. Okay. Now I'm integrating this, uh, integrating this with respect to L, with respect to L, T, param T is a parameter, T is a parameter, okay, if I, if I do, if I integrate the, integrate this function with respect to that, okay, uh, the, so this is the solution I get. Now, so, now when this function has two variables, L and T. But to indicate that I'm just going to integrate with respect to L, I have to write comma L over here. If I don't, I, this, it'll just throw me in error stating that, okay, okay, there are two variables, which am I should, which, which should I use to integrate first? Which should I keep it constant like that and everything? So this is how it is. Copy, uh, paste it over here. Okay, if I just give L, let's say, if I just give it, it's going to throw an error, first of all. So it says that uh, specify dummy variables for sign. Okay, uh, they say that if the integral contains more than one free symbol, the as an integral an integration variable should be supplied explicitly, like this. Integrate f, f of x comma y comma x. So what I'm going to do? Then I'm, let's me integrate this with respect to l. Okay, so uh, l will be integrated and t will be kept as constant. So if I integrate this. Okay, this is the function. It's going to be piecewise continuous. This function is going to be piecewise continuous, uh, mean, meaning it's going to be zero between zero and two pi by t. Okay, but and everywhere else, the function is going to have this value. And everywhere, and everywhere else between zero and two pi, this function is going to have this value minus t, uh, co minus t, uh, cos of uh, minus two pi by l t divided by two pi. 2 pi okay now if i were to do if i were to do the same integration with respect to uh, t let's say check this out all i have to do is change the symbol it may take a little it may take a few moments and uh, hopefully i guess it did not get stuck okay it's still running if you see this command option over here it's still running Indicating that uh, it's going, uh, the integration is kind of complicated. It's, it's indication is kind of complicated. Hopefully, yeah, fine. You get the answer over here. Now this is a very big integration. <laughs> okay, 
integration of 2 pi integration of 2 pi uh, okay if you guys want to check this out we can check this out and it says that there are, there is something called a ci and everything those are nothing but uh, some function which uh, function which are actually used okay so not a big deal you can just check that out okay and then if you want to do a differentiation it's also possible okay what you do is that sim dot diff that's the differentiation so differentiation of 2 x square plus sine of x is actually 2x plus cos x let's see what happens now for that I have to define this and I paste it over here okay paste it over here at presenter yeah there you have it differentiation of 2 uh, x square plus sine of x is 2x plus cos x okay and then if if you if let's say if you want to do a little more of a complicated function le it's also possible just like what we did la here let's differentiate this function okay and if i do that uh, it's again simple and if i were to come do that there you have it like that it's possible to differentiate and integrate functions easily and this is not the only thing you can do okay you can um, you can do Laplace transforms and Laplace transforms as well. Okay, for Laplace transforms and everything, okay, you need to do a little more job. You need a little more job. You may have to import the time. You may have to import some specific symbols from scipy dot abc. Specific symbols, okay. And uh, you want to do Laplace transform. Laplace underscore transform function available in simpy dot integrals is to be used and uh, if for this function t square plus 2t plus 1 the laplace transform will be s, s square plus 2s plus 2 divided plus 2s plus 2 divided by s cube okay and if you want to do the laplace transform of it this is the laplace transform okay and we're telling that uh, we're telling to the compiler that uh, after laplace transform the entire function will be in the entire transformation will be in terms of s and t is actually the term that is being used initially and like that that's what we're mentioning over here so let me copy all this let me paste it over here yeah there you have it this is your laplace transformation so if you guys are if you guys are wondering okay is this right or not you can just verify it up i, I verified it once it looks it looks fine so if you're doubtful you can just verify it, not a problem similarly if you want to do an inverse laplace transform it's also possible what you have to do is that you just have to import inverse Laplace transform uh, function available in simpy dot integrals, okay, with a alias name ILT, okay. Since this option is already fixed, not a problem. So, okay, just copy this. I'm using the same function that I'm using on the top, okay, and let's see what happens. Now, if I were to run this, okay, there you have it. It just says that it's a heavy side function saying that this entire fu this entire thing is only applicable for, for t greater than zero that's it that way you're doing uh, getting a laplace transform nicely not only that if you want you can do other operations like expand you can do other operations like this suppose if you have a big equation like this a big equation i mean uh, a very compacted equation like this and you want to break it down to every single bit it's possible to uh, use is possible to break them into one big expansion one big expansion using the option expand so if i were to copy this if i paste it over here okay expand x plus y the whole power 3 is actually whole power 3 is actually a common uh, multiply uh, common algebraic identity so it, sh it should give us x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3x y square plus y cube okay if you guys are finding it a little confusing work this out you'll find it you'll find it easily so it's not a problem so if i present it and there you have it x cube plus 3x square y plus 3x y square plus y cube same as that and if you guys want to try you can just try some other options as well it, it works nice very nicely okay that's about that's about symbolic expansion you can solve it you can solve the function as well let's say you have a function okay like this for which you have to find some values you can solve it by forcing it now what does this do what what will this do is that what will this do is that okay they have a function like this 
you know, equation like this, x power 4 minus 1, okay, solve it so that I get, I get a value for x, okay, symbolic, uh, you can use symbolic solving to get the value, and uh, if I were to run this, okay, paste it up, there you have it, it gives us four values, uh, 1, minus, minus 1, 1, minus i and cap, minus i and minus, plus i, okay, yeah, essentially, essentially what it's saying is that you have four integrals, yeah, four solutions. Let me just write it clearly for you over here. Okay, the equation is actually x power four minus one equals zero. So if you put if you put the minus one to the other side, it's x power four equals one. Now let's think of think about it. Now uh, now if this is the if this is the case, now your x square will be equal to plus or minus one. Now. So let's look at this. If x is equal to 1, your x, x square equals 1, then your y will be equal to plus or minus 1. Sorry, your x will be, x square is 1, then your x, x, x is actually plus or minus 1. Fine? Now that's one possibility. Now let's do the other thing. Now if x square equals minus 1, let's say, then x square, this is actually equals minus, this is actually equals i, your imaginary value. So, I square actually so your x will be equal to plus or minus i so your uh, for, for this equation you have four solutions namely minus 1 1 minus i i minus i okay and if you look at those values and this is what we are going to get over here simple as that okay this way you, you have an option to solve it and also you can factorize the factorize the equation simple as that suppose if you have a function like this x power 4 plus 3x square plus 3x square plus 1 and if you want to find the factors of this function it's simple use this function sim dot factor and that's it so if i were to if i were to use this and this these are the roots simple as that not bad huh not bad huh now, not only that, you can do a lot of lot, lot of symbolic operations. Uh, not only that, you can do a, many other symbolic operations in Python. I just talked about Laplace transform over here. You can do Fourier transform and other transforms also. You just have to find a, find a, find some find a proper command, search them a little, and then use them accordingly. But other than that, it's not a big deal. It's e you can do this easily. Not a big deal. And that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. This is this is a tutorial on symbolic Python, symbolic operations in Python. Now, in the next tutorial, uh, we will be looking at some in, uh, some more in, uh, some a little more interesting concepts. How to solve uh, how to solve an uh, ordinary differential equation using using the using the integration functions available in Python. Okay, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.